So this cow was trimmed two and a half months ago. She had a seriously bad case of tuberculosis and actually, unfortunately, she still does. This is the Hoof GP and this cow is not walking well at all. So in the intro, I said that we trimmed this cow about two and a half months ago and she has a seriously bad case of tuberculosis on this back right foot. Here she is walking in the pen before we're due to trim her today. We applied an orange block and it's still in place. Thank you to Hoof Grip Pro, our glue. I've never seen as many blocks staying on cow's feet and all thanks to our glue, we're getting outstanding <laughs> block retention. But in this cow's case, we need to step in because as you can see from this image, she's not walking very well at all. And it's actually because that block is in place. Let me explain. So this is tonicosis. The end of her foot is dying. The interior part, actually the bone, is decaying and rotting away. That leads to an incredibly painful condition called tonicosis. Two and a half months ago, we trimmed it back as far as we possibly could and we applied this orange block. We use this orange block because it's made of polyurethane, which means it won't wear out because this is a very long-term problem. We can't actually fix this, but we can make the cow much more comfortable. And that's why we want the block to stay on as long as possible. However, in this cow's case, this block has now been on for two and a half months, which is fantastic. It means this glue is working very, very well indeed. Love you. Sorry. You'll hate to stop doing that. It's got to make loads of noise, isn't it? Which is fantastic. But unfortunately, in two and a half months, this cow's hoof has grown 20 millimeters, which means as the hoof goes down the way like this, the block is moving all the time. And now, if we go back, if we go back to the foot, and now if we look at this cow in this, and now as we look in this cow, And now as you look at this cow in the pen before she's been in this crush, you can see she's rocking right back on this block. That means that the flexor tendon, the tendon that runs right the way down from her bum to her foot is being stretched. And if we don't do something about it, not only is she gonna become more painful from a stretched tendon, but actually her foot will start to get worse as well. So we need to step in right now to stop that from ever happening. So the first job is to get rid of this block. We do need to re-trim this tone across. It's still a real problem. One that is very, very hard to fix and I doubt we've fixed it, but we've hopefully made a bit of progress. So we're gonna get rid of this block, treat the tone across by trimming it right back, hopefully avoid that claret, the red stuff we don't like, and then deal with putting a new block on to hopefully correct the way she's walking. get this off usually you can just twist it right back like this right so that is off this glue is incredibly hard stuff it's really important to keep this glue thick so sometimes you'll push a block on really hard and all the glue spurts out the side when you put a block on like this you want to put it on like this and gently agitate it but not squeeze the glue out in the case of our glue the glue is easily the strongest component so you want a lot of glue between the block and the hoof and that is the key to block retention right i'll just get rid of the rest of this glue and crack on with the trim i said earlier that tone necrosis is virtually impossible to heal but we can make her much more comfortable and we can definitely at least try to heal it with all the good intentions in the world and all of the drugs available to vets and farmers alike Tonicrosis is still an incredibly hard thing to deal with. But sometimes, just sometimes, you can heal the problem. Which is why I'm still going to do everything in my power to help this cow begin that healing process. Or at least continue it. Right, so it's time to apply the block and this is crucial. Some people don't do this properly. They do it nearly correct, but not correctly. And that's why they lose blocks. First off, when you're using a plastic block like this, we blowtorch it off to get the releasing agent off the plastic block. It's already sprayed with some oil to get it to pop out of the molds that they're made in. You don't want to overheat the block though and get it melted, otherwise that'll mix with the glue and be kind of weird. Next, dry the hoof off using a blowtorch, but don't singe it. If you singe it, the singed part of the hoof will fall away and the block will not stick 
to something that's fallen away from the rest of the hoof. Well, it will, but it won't be on the hoof anymore. So do not singe the cow's foot. When you're applying the glue like this onto a block, don't squeeze it out as fast as you possibly can. The glue needs time to mix in the mixer. That's literally what it's for. So squeeze it out slowly, allowing it to mix in the mixing tip as you do it. Squeeze it into a big long blob right along the middle of the block. And you'll notice that it's mixing really nicely. And then when you go to put it on the block like this, don't squish the life out of it. The glue is the strongest part. So just gently agitate it from side to side so that it does cover the hoof and covers the block. But do not squeeze the block onto the foot. I'm barely putting any pressure on this at all. I want the glue to be thick between the block and the hoof. There you go. Do that and your blocks will stay on. So you'll notice now this is placed further back on our heel. Yes, there's a bit of an overhang, but Hoofcut Pro is strong enough that this will not crack off. Hopefully, 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 because this is further back on her foot, she'll stand up more correctly, she'll walk more correctly, and most importantly, she won't stretch the tender flex that's in here. Right, time to actually treat the necrosis. Imagine the bone inside your foot literally rotting and decaying away within your skin itself. The pain must be absolutely incredible, which is why a block is so essential in a situation like this. Raising that sore affected digit up off the ground will be a massive pain relieving benefit to this cow, so that if she does have any chance whatsoever of recovering, we give her that chance. Oh, no way. No way, no way, no way. I'm not saying no way because I've done something bad, I'm saying no way because it's possible we've cured this tonicrosis, which is exceptionally hard to do. So if we have, fantastic. But maybe we haven't. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, nah, it's not quite healed. I can now see that there's a an open bit right in there at the tip of my finger. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see that there's a tiny little open bit there. This is looking super good though. Wow. You can see just from spraying the water actually, look, it's made it look much worse. Need to get all of these little bits out because this is where bacteria gets in and infects the foot even further. Believe it or not, this is a real result for us. All of this yellow hoof horn lets me know this was all wide open last time we trimmed it. And now it's just this portion here that's slightly open. If we look from the top down here, just look at how much of her foot is missing. If this was a normal foot, claret would literally be spraying out of here. I thought we'd completely healed it. I'm still really encouraged though because that honestly is a fantastic result with just one trim. Hopefully this block being in place now and this wrap that we're about to put on will make the difference to get her across the line. Usually, believe it or not, you don't expect to be able to cure, cure? To, be able to, cure to be able to cure toe necrosis. But in this case, it looks like we're well on the way. But today's object was to make her more comfortable and to get her to walk on that block much more correctly. So once this bandage is in place, we'll get a view of exactly that. So let's get that in place as quick as we can so that we can see how she's walking. So I'm genuinely not sure if you can tell or not, but she is standing fully on that block now. The block is flat on the ground. The front is not pointing up in the air. And that is what we're trying to achieve. When the block was pointing up in the air like this and the toe was off the ground before we trimmed her today, that was causing her deep flexor tendon to stretch. It doesn't retract. So if we'd left her like that, that would have become a problem in itself. The glue keeping the block on that foot for so long is fantastic but you need to recheck cows just to make sure they're headed in the right direction and to replace blocks when you need to. This is a happy Graham Parker and a happy Hoof GP because she is well on the way to recovery. Tonicrosis is rarely cured but in her case it looks like it's going to be a full recovery. Thanks for watching guys, this has been the Hoof GP. Ciao for now!